Hey guys, this is Alex Pierce from LightsailVR.com. DDC stands for Derived Data Cache. And the short answer to the question is, yes, you can move it, yes, you can delete it. If you just delete it, then the next time you open your project, it's gonna rebuild the cache, so it's gonna take longer, and it's gonna come back to the same size. But if you have a lot of old projects, this still might be helpful to delete it and sort of clear out your cache. Depending on your system, maybe the better way is to actually move your DDC to an external drive. If you have a team, it's actually best to use a shared DDC on a network drive that every user can access. Okay, let's jump in. If you see under app data, under Unreal Engine, it's using 30 gigabytes. And if you look a little bit further, you'll see that 100% of that is this derived data cache. So I wanna move this to an external SSD. Okay, so let's go to edit, editor preferences, and then search for cache. And you can see here, there's two different folders you can change. So let's go ahead and change the local derived data cache. I'm gonna put this on a fast SSD drive, select folder, and then you'll see it says restart now. Okay, now you can see it's got to recompile all my shaders. It's got to recompile the textures and the static meshes. So this is gonna take a while, but you can see it's now creating the cache on my external drive instead of my internal drive. And this is exactly what I want. The next project you open should automatically be set to this cache folder. You can just delete your DDC. All you have to do is go to your username, app data, local, Unreal Engine, common, derived data cache, and then select all of these and press delete. I push shift delete, which will automatically delete all of them. And by doing this, the next time you open Unreal Engine, it's going to need to recompile all the shaders. But if you have a lot of old projects on your computer, like I do, then this will clear off a lot of space. Okay, that's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe to see more videos like this one. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next video.